All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content on here so far. If you are, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about a couple of opportunities, both in opposite directions, but both structure-based trades that uh, potentially provide really, really nice opportunities. They haven't played out yet, but I want to walk you through my analysis and what the opportunities might be. And if you combine this with a couple of the other videos that I've posted on here, you'll be able to get some really, really nice entries on this. So um, enjoy. So this is the Aussie pound Aussie, right? Now, this is going to be the major level up here, okay? And then there's another level of resistance right here. So if we can push up here, great. That's where you'll have the nice uh, major high where you can start looking for reversals um, and all the rest of it, right? Structure-based shorts. On the more intraday stuff, if the four-hour time frame is something you're using as your higher time frame, we did have this fake out. Now, fake outs always have, um, and when I say fake out, uh, this pattern here where the yeah, big bullish momentum and then the candle, next candle opens, closes right back down at the low. These have some significance. And we've also got this little inside structure level here as well uh, to fight beyond. It's a path of resistance, right? Now, what's really nice about this is we've had this big bullish run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bullish candles in a row. We know that doesn't go on forever, okay? So the first glaringly obvious thing is this doesn't go on forever. The second thing, which is quite nice to see, is the RSI pushing up towards 80, which conventionally is considered oversold at 70, overbought at 70, sorry, uh, and we're pushing 80. So what we're looking for now is price action patterns. We're looking for a running out of steam, a loss of momentum. We don't want this to go on forever. We want clues that this is actually going to slow down and potentially roll over. Now, when we go down to the 60 minute, we can just see that we've just hit that like a brick wall, right? And we had this little wick up to the upside protection. We closed below the low of the zone. And now we're starting to put in some bearish movement. Okay, so I need a 60 minute time frame. And this gives us an opportunity for, well, if you've seen the video that I did on five different types of entries, this is where you'd be looking at those. But really, you can enter a three bar reversal. So you wait for this candle to close, which would be another hour from now. And then you'd need another candle, another hour from now, uh, two hours from now to close below the low of this one. <clears throat> okay, so that's a three bar reversal. Alternatively, you could be a bit more conservative and wait for a double top. Now, some of the traders in this group use the lower time frame for the double top. So you can go down to the 15 minute time frame and get the double top on the 15 minute, which is still valid as well. We still haven't violated that previous high on the 15. So there's confluence with the respected structure across all time frames, which is usually very, very powerful. So couple of ways you could enter a double top on their trading time frame you can go down to a lower time frame and wait for a double top which is going to potentially um, present itself and complete quicker than on the on the trading time frame of course there is more power in waiting for a double top on the 60 than there is on the 15 but what's really nice about this this is probably the best bit is if you do get a double top here or you're able to get in here your stop can go tight above the highs, because we know that's above this previous high as well. Maybe an ATR above the high, if that's your um, method. And then it's where do you put targets? And what we want is our stop loss in the path of most resistance and our target in the path of least resistance. Now, there is some structure here, okay? I wouldn't want to fight beyond this. So you could have a quite comfortable 2.8 to 1 reward to risk profile trade before you start battling these significant levels that have been respected in the past. If you're even more conservative, you could even, you know, just literally shoot for this previous candle and then split your target and have take off half of your position and then uh, and then roll your stop to break even and then, you know, squeeze the last bit out. Uh, for your second position. So a few different options there, but either way, this is a really nice little setup. And um, hopefully it doesn't just roll off without us. 
If you're a really aggressive trader, you might have just shorted this, but I, I, that's definitely not my style. I've never been able to find an edge just shorting things aggressively like that. I end up giving money back over time and, you know, it's just a waste of time. Okay, the other setup is on the New Zealand dollar and this is in the opposite direction. And basically overnight or early this morning, we had this really nice um, drop off a cliff. Uh, and although you can't get involved right now because it'd be like trying to catch a, a falling knife, um, what we are doing is we're approaching a really nice level in this market that is a uh, one of the discretionary levels of mine down at 6100 um, and we're look, if we drop down to the trading time frame you can see just like the pound Aussie we've had lots of bearish candles in a row one two three four five six seven doesn't go on forever we know this doesn't go on forever what's really nice is we're approaching this zone at 6100 um, and RSI is like down at 11 conventionally oversold at 30 we're down at 11. Now the annoying thing is, is if it doesn't push all the way down to the structure zone uh, and I can't get involved. But if we do and we continue down, there'll be a really nice opportunity down here. Um, where, depending on how conservative you are, whether you wait for a double bottom or a, maybe a three bar reversal, your level of aggression into this trade is going to determine whether you catch it or not, of course. But I want to just make note of the targets again because they're very attractive if we're going long and we get in down in this zone somewhere really you know the resistance starts to kick in around here and your stop loss is going to be um you know really tight atr base below the low uh, which is going to give you a four or five to one reward to risk trade um, really really nice reward to risk profile even if you gave your stop loss even more breathing room you know you're still talking about a three three or four to one reward to risk trade. So <clears throat> those are the two that are really on the radar. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch this one. I've got a feeling it's going to rally without us, but we'll see. Um, but the pound Aussie, again, we're, we're waiting for a double top here for me personally. Some of you are waiting for a three bar reversal. We'll watch, it, we'll watch these play out and uh, see how they get on. So those are the two on the radar for today, hopefully. Uh, if you've got any other ways that you would trade these or any other entry techniques that you're looking at, let me know in the comments and uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.